Europe's new generation fighter program is pressing ahead, with leading partners DASO and Airbus recently submitting their joint industrial proposal for the next phase of demonstrator development work through mid-2021. During the 2019 Paris Air Show, the program was further boosted by an agreement for Spain to join France and Germany as national partners. The new fighter is a major element in a new combat air system being developed to address Europe's defense needs from around 2040. NGF is important for Dassault and for Europe because it's really a project to prepare the future in the field of uh, fighters. We already have in France the Rafale. The Rafale is fully operational and will be fully operational for the next 30 years. But we need to prepare the next generation. The aircraft itself is the main manned element in the future air combat system, referred to as SCIF in French. That also involves other major European partners such as TALIS and MBDA. The system will also include unmanned air vehicles, new weapons, and so-called remote carriers that will fly in combat formation with the fighter aircraft, carrying payloads such as electronic warfare, reconnaissance, and decoy systems. They will also be designed to carry and launch weapons on command from the fighter pilots. As well as new air platforms, uh, companies such as MBDA are developing new weapons or at least studying concepts of the kind of weapons that are going to be required in the 2040 time frame that we're talking about. In the meantime, some weapons are being studied and developed for earlier introduction on the current generation of aircraft, which of course, first of all, have to serve until 2040, but they also, after that, may still play a part in European air power. The weapons involve a faster, stealthier, longer range, and also smarter. They can be launched in formations with the weapons talking to each other, almost establishing their own network. So they can share information on targeting and what have you, and all linked back to the NGF as the core of this air combat cloud, they're calling it. Really, this fighter should be powerful is a bigger one than the Rafale. He will have an internal Bombay. He will have capability to go through defense uh, because of the stealth. And well, we expect that is the future. While remaining an air-to-air -air aircraft, because we know also that we need to keep air dominance as a requirement important for our air forces. We started together with Germany on a global study, which was uh, ordered uh, a few months ago. Now the next step is going to be to design a demonstrator which should fly in 2026. So that is going to be a challenging uh, program and uh, based on this demonstrator we will pave the way for what should be the development of this fighter for operational uh, requirements. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.